This is a Game Caviar production. All right, now I have it in the Game Caviar Studios. I haven't made a video in a long time. Uh, a few days is a long time for me because I honestly, I love making these videos and interacting with the caviars and the caveats out there who love and support Game Caviar. So when I go a few days without um, uh, making a video, it is similar to a heroin addict going a few days without actually injecting heroin inside of them. I go, I have the shakes and chills and I, I quite literally go through withdrawal. But um, luckily for me, I can make a video uh, more freely and I have more free time this weekend to actually do what I love to do best and that's make videos like this one black ops nuketown you know it well domination I got the mp5k with the uh, red dot sight which I really don't need on this gun maybe I do I don't know I'd rather have rapid fire but I got the red dot sight I need to go through and uh, redo my class my class setups and really look at them and see if they are something that I want to push forward to because on Game Caviar, as far as myself, I am going to be playing Black Ops in lieu to, is that even right? In lieu, in lieu, in lieu, not lewd, lewd is like, you know, it's illegal, but anyway, it's um in lieu of Black Ops 2. So no more uh, crappy Modern Warfare 3. That game is just an, an abomination of video games. It is quite literally the lowest point that Infinity Ward has gotten. I honestly don't believe they can get any lower if they come out with a Modern Warfare 4 that is somehow um, worse than Modern Warfare 3. I would be absolutely uh, shocked beyond belief and I believe that a lot of other people will because there's almost mathematically impossible statistically for them to get any worse than what they have done on Modern Warfare 3 um, but it is Infinity Ward and they're good at surprising us with really horrible games so you never know anyway I'm going to be sticking with Black Ops in lieu of Black Ops 2 so, come November 13th, I'm going to go and I'm going to pick up Black Ops 2. Most likely, the GameStop will have a midnight release. So, you can expect, you can expect, you can expect videos that night. And I'm not joking. And, uh, and to go along with my uh, Twitch TV live stream that I do periodically. Um, and, and it, you know, it's really a lackluster effort on that part. Uh, most of the time on Twitch TV it's just straight gameplay. Sometimes I talk, sometimes I don't. I don't know. It, it, the, the thing with me, Twitch TV is easy because you can just put it on to to um you can just put it to live stream and you don't have to worry about uh, talking or anything. You can literally just play the game and keep it uh, up on the live stream. So if somebody comes and they see your channel, they can uh, indulge themselves in the uh, you playing the video game, whatever video game you play. And I've played Max Payne 3, uh, Modern Warfare 3, um, what else? What other games have I played? League of Legends, uh, which is a very fun game. I love that game. I just, I wish I had more time to really invest in playing that game the way I'd like to. Um, and uh, what is it? What other games have I put up there, man? Uh, Warfighter. The beta, I put up the beta, that was pretty cool. Hey, you know what EA is doing now? They're preventing people, uh, it, there was a report that said that they're like preventing people from monetizing YouTube videos. Uh, it, any company that does that is plum stupid. You know, that my last video, I called Infinity Ward a bunch of daft some bitches. And EA is, is right there hand in hand with them. Look, the, the, I, I, the, the guys with YouTube channels like me and and many other people look, we give these companies damn near free advertisement you know and uh, for EA to do that that's really uh, I mean that's like it, for for the guy not me because I have a job 
but some guys really like this is YouTube this is what they do and if you disrupt them from making money doing what they do to survive then you can pretty much count that they're gonna that they're, they're gonna uh, disassociate themselves with your game I don't know how deep this is and I don't know how serious this is I know when I put up my warfighter videos on YouTube they didn't get monetized and I saw that report and I was like well that's probably the reason why it's not a big deal if EA wants to keep that up then I mean I'm still I'm getting warfighter but come on the the amount of videos that you see on it will probably be it'll probably be more live streaming on Twitch TV than on YouTube. Um, and there was another company that was doing that. There was a report that Microsoft was doing that too, but I don't think it, it was the uh, the same that EA is doing. Uh, but these companies need to understand that. Look, the, these YouTube videos and channels they basically uh, allow people to to see these companies' games. And uh, I know for me, I, I do uh, have revenue for my videos, but since I'm such a small channel, I'm only making maybe $10 a month. And that's even, that's when I make $10 a month. It's not every month, it's not, it's not um, guaranteed that I'll make that amount of money. The more videos I make, the more that I monetize. Of course, the number's gonna get bigger. I'm almost up to 200 videos, but right now I'm, you know, I'm starting at the bottom basically. Anyway, like this video, comment on this video. We're still trying to get a thousand subscribers. Please, if you know somebody, run out in the streets right now and grab 10 random people and tell them to subscribe to Game Caviar. That would help us out a lot. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. Peace. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.